All right, hi folks, and welcome to PJsMusicTheory.com. Now today we're talking about the circle of fifths and the circle of fourths and how they work. All right, we're going to put these in a matrix, not the circle, actually, because visually I, you benefit more. So we start with the C scale. The C is always our first one because no sharps and no flats. F, G, A, B, and C. Okay. Now, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 1 and 8. Number 1 and the 8. So, when we are doing our circle of fifths, we go to the fifth of each scale, bring it down. And start our new scale below it. So we'll put G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now we won't put in any sharps or flats just yet because we're going to go all the way down. And we're going to take the fifth of each scale and carry it down. So we have a D in this next one. E, F, G, A, B, C, and D. So we have to take the fifth and we bring an A down here. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. And we take the fifth and we bring it down. That's an E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, and the fifth is a B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, okay, the fifth is an F, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, okay, next one is a C, C, D, F, G, A, B, and C. We stop at C because we've gone through it all. Now, we apply, if you remember, our major scale was a whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, link, whole step, whole step, half step. And we apply that. We know that if you've already done the major scale video, we know that C has no sharps, no flats, so everything complies with C. That is a whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step. So we go down to G. We want to apply that. So we got a whole step. We have a whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, link, whole step, whole step, and half step. Now, G to A. Is that a whole step? Yes, it is, because we've got two half steps. G, G sharp, A. So that complies. A to B, is that a whole step? Yes, it is. We've got A, A sharp, B. B to C, is that a half step? Yes, it is. B goes directly to C. Okay, we want a whole step from C to D. Is that a whole step? Yes, C sharp, or C, C sharp, and D. Okay, D, is this a whole step? D to E? Yes, it is. D, D sharp, E. Alright, now is there a whole step to F? No, because there's that's a half step from E to F. There is no E sharp. Uh, and so we go to F sharp. We make this F sharp. That complies then. It goes E to F, F sharp. That's a whole step, two half steps to whole. So that brings that to F sharp. And then we want the half step to G. Yes, F sharp to G is a half step. Okay, we only have to use the formula once, or if we know what we're doing, we don't have to use this major scale formula to figure this out. What we do, as you can see, it is our seventh that gets sharpened every time we come down. 
it is our seventh in this whole row right here as we build we sharpen each one coming down and we carry them over so this sharp F sharp here will get carried over to the next line down. So here we go. We go F sharp right here. We automatically put that to the next line down. And consequently every F sharp, every F coming down here will become sharpened. And we make the seventh of each scale. As we come down in this order, we make the seventh sharp. So we have an F sharp that we carried over, and our new sharp now is going to be a C sharp. So the key of D has two sharps. And our, our key signatures, three, four, and five, and then we have, and it's a little hard for me to draw at this angle. But anyhow, so, when we have the key of C up here, there is no sharps and no flats. So this is our key signature we'll be looking at. When we are playing in a key of G, our very next uh, key, we have F sharp. So we will see F sharp. Now, when we're playing in the key of D, we have two sharps. We have in a D major, we have two sharps. We have F sharp and we have C sharp. We already have the F sharp there. Carry down. We put our C sharp in here. Okay, now we carry our C sharp down to our next level, and we carry our F sharp down here as well. And in the key of A, we also have the seventh that we sharpen. So now we have three sharps in the key of A. We have C sharp, we have F sharp, and we have G sharp in the key of A major scale. So we add our new G sharp here. And we always put it up here, and this is the order that we're doing this in. This is also pay attention to this order here, as we, this is how you will see. Uh, this is how you will see the key signatures in your sheet music. And there's a simple way with this order. It has to be in this order because the way you can tell what key it is by looking at that. Our sevenths are always sharpened. So with the last sharp note to the right, which in this case so far, it would be G, wouldn't it? That's our last key, our last sharp note in our scale to the right. In this key signature, raise it up a half step. This G becomes an A, because the G is our seventh of the scale. So raise this last one on the right, raise it up a half a step, and that tells you what key it's in. It's basically taking this note, raising it to an A. Your G sharp goes to an A. So, and I'll show this as we go. We carry over our G sharp. We carry our F sharp. And we carry our C sharp. And our new sharp for E here becomes a D sharp. And we can add a D sharp to our key signature. That D sharp right there. Now, see the last one on the right? You raise it up, it becomes an E. That's the key we're in. See the D sharp becomes an E. That D sharp becomes an E. That's the key we're in when, we're shut, when we have these four key signatures in this order. We know that we're playing in key of E right there. Alright, so we bring the D down, we bring the C sharp down, we carry down the G sharp, and we carry the F sharp. In our next one, key of B, the seventh becomes sharpened, and that is an A sharp. So we put the A here. And obviously, you take that A sharp, the last key signature on the right, you take that A sharp and bring it up, we're in the key of B. That A sharp becomes a B. Okay, then we bring this down. It's starting to make sense, I'm sure. And we got the G sharp, and we got the F sharp. Now, this is different here. This F here, all the F's become sharpened. Now, you look, that changes the key now. The key would have been an F, but 
since we have an F sharp right here and we bring it down and carry your F's down, that F has become a this is new this is a new key in the F sharp. So as we're still bringing our, bringing our sharps down here, filling them in. A okay, we got them all, I believe. Let's see, cause we got let's see one, two, three, four, five in this one, and this should be six by the time I'm done. There's five, and the E gets sharpened. Now the E here, not only is it different here with the F sharp, be, F becoming F sharp and changing the whole key, but the E. E sharp, okay. <clears throat> What's an E sharp? An E sharp is really a F natural, because E has no sharp physiology, uh, per practicality wise. E has no sharp. E goes straight to F, and we call it an E sharp academically because you cannot have two of the same letter in the same key. You can, such in this case would be the F. Okay, if we just call this E sharp, if we called it an F natural, the key is in F sharp. So we would have to have an F natural and an F sharp. That can't be. We don't put two of the same letter in the same any given it, key. It has to be alphabetically every time. So to make it alphabetical every time here, we cannot have like C, D, F natural, and F sharp. What we do is have C sharp, D, E sharp, F. So it stays C, D, E, F. It stays that way because we can't have an F and an F sharp. Then there will be no E at all. And so we just modify this E to make it E sharp, but it's really an F. And it's for that way for the scale. So, coming down, we take our E sharp and we take the, I carry down the F sharp, and actually we just carry them all down because C, on contrast, C major scale has zero sharps and flats. On the complete contrast, now C sharp has all sharps and flats and the, the 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 odd part is a B sharp is in there okay so since it starts with C sharp we can't have a C and a C sharp so that B is called a B sharp even though it's a C it is an actually it actually is a C so there is another time where things are changed academically just to keep it alphabetical. It always has to remain alphabetical. It cannot have two of the same letters in the same. And when we're adding our key signatures, where do we leave off? We left off at A sharp. Now we got an E. An E sharp. There we go. And a B sharp. And this is what, in this order, and it, it basically, visually, will look like this, this, and this. That is how it goes in order. It complies with this formula going down as we build. We're always building when it comes to music theory. And you can see how it starts with the F sharp, C sharp, G, you know, and on forth. And you can always tell as it's going, you can always see what key it's going to be in by raising the last one on the right up a half a pitch. All right. Now, we have already talked about sharps, and that's what this is right here. Now, let's talk a little bit about the flats. And when we talk about the flats, we have to change this a little bit because it's no longer a circle of fifths, it's a circle of fourths. <laughs> Alright, so we got, we start again with the key of C. That's always what we start with. The C has no sharps and no flats. E, F, G, A, B, 
B, C. So, now, instead of circle of fifths, we are talking about the circle of fourths. The circle of fourths, so we do that, we build it the same, it's the same concept as a circle of fifths, but instead we're going with force. This is for flats. So we take F as the next one in line here. So we F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. Now we take the fourth, we have B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Okay, the fourth over here is E, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. The fourth is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, <coughs> D, F, G, A, B, C, D. Fourth is G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And the fourth here is C, C, D, E, F, G, A, B and C. And of course we're, we have our C's to C's again. Okay. Now, on this one, we take the fourth of each one becomes flattened as we go down. It'll be this row here. Becomes flattened each step to come down. And I'm going to Put another little music scale over here, hopefully. Two, three, four, five. All right. Oops. Shaved off there. So, we know that the key of C has no sharps, no flats. We're starting over again. So, this is the key signature for C, natural, major scale. Okay. Now, when we come down... We flatten our fourth here because if you do the whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, link, whole step, a whole step, and half step. Okay, we apply that. Okay, so is F to G? Is that a whole step? Yes, it is because we've got F, F sharp, G. Okay, is G to A? Is that a whole step? Yes, it is. G, G sharp, A. That's a whole step. Now, A to B, is that a half step? No. No, it isn't. Because we have A, A sharp, <coughs> and B. Now, so we have to do something with this B, don't we, to make it a half step, make that relationship from A to B a half step. So, we can't modify that, because then that would change our relationship between G and A. It has to remain a whole step between G and A. So we have A, and remember when I said that you can't have two of the same uh, letter in the same, it has to be alphabetically, so the A has to be a B. So what we do is we take the, the B here and we flatten our B. Instead of a B natural, we flatten it, and that makes this half step work out. Now, we don't call it an A sharp because we already have an A natural. So we can't have an A natural, A sharp, C. What we do is make it a B flat. Okay, so that corrects the relationship between A to B, making a B flat come down. That makes it a half instead of a whole. So then, we got a whole step link here. Okay, so B flat to C. Is that a whole step? Yes, it is. Because we've got B, B natural, and then C. Two half steps make a whole. So that makes that comply. And the rest complies. Because when we go to C to D, we have C, C sharp, D. Yes, that's a whole step. 
D to E, is that a whole step? Yes, it is. D, D sharp, E, so that's a whole step. And then E to F, is that a half step? Yes, it is. Because E goes directly to F, no E sharp. All right. So we see how that works with this. Now our B here is flattened. Or that's our fourth. That's our fourth coming down. It's flattened. So the same principle works when we did the sharps in the circle of fifths. But now we're in the circle of fourths and we're going for our flats. We're trying to discover our flats. So in the key of F has one flat, right? So, and that is a B flat. So when you are playing in the key of B, this is our key of F, I'm sorry, that's the B flat is the signature you'll see. So we carry our B flat down. Now look at this makes everything change here because now our key is in B flat. We have no B natural key, we have a B flat. Our B natural is in the sharps. So our B flats here, we carry the B down and we make the fourth flatted. So our E becomes flatted now. So for the key of B, we have two flats. The key our B flat. The key of B flat has two flats, and that is B flat, and that is E flat. So we come down and we carry those down, so we have the E flat. Now that changes this key again. All of them will be changed actually, as you'll see. So we bring the E down and we bring the B down, make that flat. And is that it? Yeah. And then now our new flat is the fourth of the scale, and it's an A flat. And we bring our A flat right here. All right. So, now we carry all this down, our, B, our A becomes an A flat, and we have an E flat, and we have a B flat. Okay, and now our new flat in the key of A flat is D flat. So we have a D flat here, and then we carry it all down. Okay, we got that, that, we got... E flat, yes, we got A flat, we got B flat, okay, now our new flat is G flat, so we bring G flat, okay, and we got the G flat carried down here to our G's, then we bring in our A flat, we have B flat, got a D flat, got an E flat, our new flat is a C flat, which that is actually a B, but we call it, we already have a B flat, and we call the C, a, uh, we call the B a C flat, academically. Okay, so we bring the C flat down here, and now, same as our sharps did, uh, the same theory is the same. The E major has zero sharps and flats, the C flat now has all flats. Everything's flat. We just know that. So we can just flatten everything. And F becomes flattened as well. So, here we go. And that's the time, that's the, the key signatures flat wise going all the way down. And it actually goes this way. So, that's pretty much how they're built, and that's how the circle of fifths and fourths work in a short nutshell.